out a, a dream, so to speak, reenacting what we play in a video game. However, in a video game, you get unlimited lives. So here, you have to count on your buddy. It's the epitome of teamwork. You can't let down your teammates because, unfortunately, there's no coming back. Gentlemen, this is the live fire range. In our world, you're always here. You'll be exposed to many weapons used in Battlefield 3. The M4, the M249 Saw, and our favorite, the Pa Deuce, the M250 Caliber. If your head isn't engaged, go the fuck home. Here, no mistakes. The rifles we're using have a red dot sight in them. If that center red dot is on that target, that's where that round is gonna go. I'd say the biggest thing is you don't want to be thinking about too much <laughs> other than just lining up your target and then just slowly squeezing that trigger. Oh, just a little low. Ah. <laughs> You're jerking the trigger a little bit. Okay. And the reason I know that, when it was out of rounds, yes. you went like this. If you manipulate or move that barrel at all while you're pulling the trigger, then it throws off your aim completely. The key to hitting this one, slow and smooth trigger pull to the rear. There you go, good job. Yeah. Stop, stop. Right then, you were trying to force the shot. I think on the first one we just used a, might have been an ACOG or like a red dot is the dot on the on the thing. It's just, it's too squirrely right now for me, and then it's like, it's almost like it's not in focus. But then we switched over to a small uh, micro dot, I believe, it just felt a lot more stable to me. For me, I was, you know, drilling them, you know, back to back to back to back. Hit, 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 hit. Good job, man. I like, I like that better than the- You uh, like the sight better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you ask people, oh, what's the best sight? There is no best sight. It's the sight that you shoot best with. Most military units will have at least one of these weapons, and now with the 223, the modern ones, you'll have several in there. Just because you've got a monster like this, you gotta know how to fire it, and there's great technique involved. When you fire this, you wanna shoot three to five round bursts. You start low, and then you walk your bullets in so that you're hitting the rocks and the bullets are splashing into the target, and then you can see the tracers. It really makes you appreciate, you know, how good they really are at their job, and they make it look effortless. Put it in your shoulder, and then tilt it this way. It makes it easier to load, and you go ahead and load those right there. Slam it down. Now, as soon as you push this in, you're ready to shoot. All right. Good job. They've been doing this for years, and it really makes you appreciate the work they put into it. All right, hey, the 50 cal is probably the biggest gun that's out there. It's a beautiful weapon. It reaches out to about 7,600 meters. The way we're gonna do it today it has a lot of kick to it. That's why we put the sandbags on the tripod. To be able to train with guys that do this for a living and to get pointers and go through that, it's been awesome. Let's do this. All right, let it go. Probably the tightest gun I've ever shot. It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting one for Christmas. Yeah, I think this was me. That was the second time. Maybe this would have been the third time. Probably right, right in here. Those things are pretty lethal. Cat, that concludes what we can give you for your live fire. We're not gonna get a lot of sleep tonight. You gotta go pre-dawn.